gadget got here. And no, we're not reviewing my pet fish. Today, I'm going to show you the best wireless router that you can get for both gaming and streaming 4K video. And to be honest, anything in addition to that, including tons of people using the same Wi-Fi at the same time. I'm the Gadget God. I do the research so that you don't have to. And this is the router that I use. I need insane amounts of internet speed. I'm not even kidding. I will be actually watching Netflix in 4K while streaming my live gameplay in 1080p 60 frames per second on Twitch. While watching 4K video streaming, this is the router that I use. This is, now you know all my secrets, the TP-Link AC5400. And that's just what it's called. You can also call it the Archer 5400. Archer like the TV show, it's a great TV show. And Dr. Fish is gonna help us uh, review this as well. There are a number of reasons why this is the best one. I just wanna show you the box. And yes, it is a super shiny box because that's how good it is. It's for kings and queens. It has a dual core CPU. That's not that big of a deal, but it also has three coprocessors. Probably 99% of routers have one coprocessor. This TP-Link Archer C5400 has three coprocessors. So we'll pull it out of the giant box. Look at that. How exciting is that? All your dreams are coming true. But I do wanna show you the back of the box in one second. Let me just show you some of the guts, some of the gravy for our Thanksgiving dinner. So here are some of the specs on the back of the box as well. I know it's super shiny, but don't worry, I'll hide the shine. Extreme architecture for powerful processing. This is probably one of my favorite features out of all of it, and it is Moomimo. Moomimo, that's, that's why you came to find my reviews because I pronounce the word Moomimo. Now what this actually does, this feature, is it's like a beam forming technology and it will directly send the absolute fastest speeds that the router can handle directly to that device, almost like a laser. And the majority of routers nowadays, they have one Moomimo stream. I'm gonna keep saying Moomimo because that's, that's what it means to me. It makes me moo mucho gracias. There's your regular router. There's your speeds, crazy fast speeds. And this isn't one of those routers that is so ridiculously overpriced. This is under $200 and you can spend $500 for a router that does the same one. That's another reason why this is the best. Very cost effective, but also super, super powerful. And yes, for all you ultra tech people out there, this does have a built-in VPN. So there's the Moomimo. And we can see it literally beam forms the absolute strongest signal to multiple devices. So one of them could be gaming online in 4K, one of them could be watching Netflix in 4K, one of them could be watching YouTube in 4K. Now keep in mind, you do need to pay for internet speed that is that fast, but this is the router that you will want to take advantage of that speed. Four stream for the fastest Wi-Fi. It's got eight antennas. It's got three bands, one for the normal 2.4 gigahertz, and then it has two bands for the five gigahertz. Look, there it is. Smart Connect for better connections. Nitro Quam. Got your airtime fairness. Don't you just love the buzzwords they come up with? You don't need to pay attention to any of that stuff. The fact is this is the best one. This is the one I use for my ultra super internet and then maximum coverage, no dead spots. Say goodbye to your dead zones, eight antenna. So inside the box here, I'll show you the actual product itself. Let's open up this behemoth. Let's pull the Loch Ness Monster out from the water. Now, I don't know how many routers you've experienced with, but this is probably twice the size of your normal router. You know, if this is how big your normal router is, this one's twice the size. It's not huge. I mean, this is, this is maybe the size of your cable box. So uh, don't get, all excited that this thing's way too big. I could never fit it in my house. This is just a little bit bigger than your normal router. Got your goofy paperwork installation guide. You know how to install it. And if you don't, ask me below. I'll give you some quick tips on how to set up your router. But this is more the review of why this is the best one for gaming in 4K and why I use this one specifically. Get this box out. So I know you guys like to see the coolness. Got your power brick. And here's your power plug that plugs into your power brick. So you got a super long power cable, ethernet cable. Now, if you don't know, the ethernet cable is what you connect from your modem to your Wi-Fi router. Now, TP-Link also does have the free TP-Link Tether app. 
which allows you to manage all of the features of your router. So for example, you can uh, update the firmware using the app or you can turn the router on and off if you have kids and they're staying up late using the internet. You can turn off the actual display lights in the front if these LEDs are bugging you. You can turn them off with the app. You can even use Alexa voice control to turn off the LEDs on the front panel. So you can even ask Alexa to share the guest password for the guest Wi-Fi network. Pretty crazy, I know, it's the future, we live there. Eight antennas. I feel like I'm going to the alien home world. I'm trying to phone home right now. Beam me up, Scotty. So look at that, it looks almost like, I was gonna say if Satan had a router himself, but it's a little more majestic than that. This is like if Poseidon had a router and his favorite shade was a matte black. Matte black, no fingerprints. These are all tiny little fans up here. So perfect venting control. I'll show you the LEDs on the front. I'll show you the holes on the back. There's your 2.4 gigahertz. That's like your wireless N, your A, B, and your G. And then two five gigahertz. That's your wireless AC. So yes, this is wireless AC. That is the fastest standard that is supported by all the companies. For example, Apple and Google, uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 Pro, they all support wireless AC. That's the, that's the widely accepted fastest standard. Now there is wireless AD, which just came out super recently. And yes, TP-Link does offer a wireless AD router that looks very similar to this, but there's a specific reason why I did not why I do not use the wireless AD router. That is the Talon AD. And that is because the, the wireless AC is still being widely accepted by everyone as the standard. It's not even universally accepted as the standard, wireless AC. Wireless AD is still a few years off from being super ultra accepted. So wireless AC is the best bet. Plus the wireless AD router is twice as expensive and the big problem with wireless AD that I see, that's the, the absolute newest wireless standard, is that the range for wireless AD is ultra, ultra short. This is wireless AC. That's awesome. That's what you want because it's super fast ethernet speeds at a medium wireless range. The brand new wireless AD, which I'm not recommending, you literally have to be like sitting next to your router to get those faster AD speeds. If, if that's the case, just plug it in with an ethernet cable in the back. So that is why I use the TP-Link AC5400 with wireless AC because the, the signal strength is super far and super fast. But really, the number one reason why I recommend this is if you stream 4K video or you play games online, this will eliminate your lag. This will eliminate your dead spots. Do you have lag when you play online? Gone with the Archer C5400. All your lag is gone. No more dead zones in your house. Super fast speeds. And the best part is that you can do 4K streaming and online gaming at the exact same time and it does not bog down the network. That's where they really nailed it with this product is that you can do all of these extremely data intensive things and it does not affect your signal strength at all. And plus it's super sleek, it's super compact, dual core processor, so it can handle all that data. Tons of users all at the same time will not slow down your network. And it has three co-processors. Every other router has one co-processor. We got three, 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 three. And this does have three bands. So 2.4 gigahertz has a band of that. And then it has two bands of the five gigahertz. All the other routers have just two bands total, a 2.4 gigahertz, which is the slower, longer range, and the five gigahertz, which is the faster, shorter range. This has two five gigahertz bands and one 2.4 gigahertz. It also has built-in protection from the web, keeps your devices safe, built-in antivirus, and it's so handsome. It's like a crowd of people standing around. All right, everybody, take your seats. It's like we're playing Duck, Duck, Goose. I win. Who didn't eat their vegetables? I didn't. So it looks like you're giving somebody the middle finger. You know what, that's what I think of your video review, Gadget God. Well, you know what, this is what I think of your comment. Almost looks like a nice platter. I could serve some tacos on here. Multi-user support with Moomimo technology, super high speed connections, and yes, on the back, those are four gigabit 
Ethernet ports, way faster than regular Ethernet ports, gigabit Ethernet, has a USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0 port, so you can connect your printer if you have a printer that doesn't uh, have built-in Wi-Fi, and you can turn it into a Wi-Fi printer, or you can plug in your USB hard drive and turn it into a wireless hard drive. Honestly, I love the power button. I think it's very underrated. I can just hit that to power it on, hit that to power it off. No more having to unplug the power cable. I just feel like that's that's so old. Nowadays, power button, and TP-Link does that. It's just, I wanna put this somewhere where people can know how powerful I get with my Wi-Fi. It does have a two year warranty, so if anything happens to it, you got two years, they'll just replace it. And it does say in the box, 24 seven technical support. Look, I, I'm the gadget god. I got the technicals covered. I can handle it. But thank you, I appreciate you being there for me. So it does cover your whole home. Say goodbye to dead zones. Just say goodbye to them, wave goodbye. You don't even need to give them a parting gift. They know it's their time to go. They'll be gone by the time you plug this bad boy in. And it does have X-Stream architecture for powerful processing. It's got the 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor so it can handle everything. It's like a supercomputer in there. And then three co-processors to handle everything else. So nothing can stop this. This is like a ballista. This is a battering ram that will punch through the internet in your house. But you invited him, so it's your own fault. And it does use quality of service control so you can prioritize which devices you want to get the most internet. I mean, I literally have like over 50 devices that are just sucking down Wi-Fi all the time, like thirsty desert nomads, sucking down Wi-Fi like thirsty desert stragglers. The absolute power and consistent Wi-Fi strength to all my devices is what I need and that's why I use this one. That's why I want you guys to know, if you go hardcore, with your internet data consumption like I do, gaming, streaming, streaming 4K, multiple streams of 4K, while streaming on your PlayStation 4 Pro, and downloading a movie off of the Apple iTunes store. No stopping this beast. Beauty and the beast. I'm the beauty, or my devices are the beauty. This is the beast though. We're in the beast's castle now, it's, it's their house. And you can use that free Tether app by TP-Link to just check on your latest firmware. And if it's there, update the firmware right from the app. See exactly which devices are connected. Prioritize those devices. Control whatever you want. Change the password, change the, the network name. You can do all that from the, from the app. I know a lot of people are scared to plug an ethernet cable into the back of here and plug it into your laptop. Go to the web browser, 802 dot blah, 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 and then make your changes there. Just do it from the app. It's the future. App changes, simplicity, he gets it. Yeah, you do, you're so, so handsome. You're as handsome as the router. I mean, what else do you wanna know? What, what questions do you guys have? Please put them down below. Let me know what questions you have. In all seriousness though, as the gadget god, I need the best Wi-Fi I can possibly get. And I do have the Amazon links down below for the TP-Link Archer C5400. This is the one that I use. Now, you've probably seen a previous video. Whenever I find a substantial upgrade in hardware that meets my Wi-Fi needs, that is when I will upgrade. Not before, not after. And you don't need to go superfluous with the wireless AD standard. Yes, it is, it is a little bit faster, but you have to be so close and the price of those routers are so expensive, it's not even worth it. Wireless AC is insane with the speeds. I don't know if I believe you. Look, look at those speeds. Eat them for breakfast. You'll be full all day with those speeds. I don't know if I showed you this part. Pause it if you need to. Handsome. But really, this is the one that I use. And if you need fast internet speeds, if you have multiple devices, if you have multiple people and your internet's getting bogged down, get the TP-Link Archer C5400. I'm dead serious about eliminating dead zones. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. I also have a specific modem that I use. Yes, I buy my own modem, I don't rent one. Purchase your own modem for, if you get a really powerful one, like $100 or less, because you're paying like 10 bucks a month to rent a modem, in 10 months you could have bought your own, and then if you move, you can sell the modem that you bought. Plus the modem that you'll buy, at least if you buy the one that I recommend in the Amazon links down below, the one that I use, then you can even sell that when you move, or use it at your new place. Don't rent equipment, buy your stuff, because it will be better 
than what the internet providers rent to you. Plus, you're, you're paying for that stuff. Buy it and own it and sell it when you're done with it. You know, it maintains its value. Don't rent, buy. But this is the one. I do have the Amazon links down below for this bad boy. Under $200, I actually got this for $190. Do not buy a router that says it can do everything and cost $500, don't do that. This is the one. I do the research so that you don't have to. I could not be more serious about that. This one with wireless AC and all the other standards has the crazy range and the crazy speeds. This is the one. Also have the modem that I use down there, which you can also buy off of Amazon. Lay them down next to each other, but connect them with an ethernet cable because that's how babies are made. So I'd love to know, what is the main reason that you guys want faster internet speeds? What is it that's bogging down your internet? Because I may have some suggestions on how you can fix that. The placement of your router is also very important. You want to put it in a central location of your house. Don't stick it in a cupboard in your basement and close the cupboard. Don't do that. You want it, if you can, open air exposed so the antennas can send out the biggest signal. But you know what? It's funny I say that because you don't need that with this. Look at the eight antennas and the beam forming Moomimo. This will punch through your walls. Not literally, but like with invisible lasers. So your walls will still look nice. Too many people think that it's their internet provider. That's terrible when really you have a crappy router. Get the good router. If you have too many users, this fixes that. Do you have dead spots of, of internet in your house? This fixes that. Are you just seeing that buffering loading wheel? This fixes that. Are your download speeds too slow? This fixes all of that. If you're downloading video games on a PS4 or an Xbox One, I mean, that's like a 30 gig download just for an update. So this is what you want. This is what I use. And I'm sharing it with you guys because I don't want you to waste your money on overpriced routers that do not perform as well as this one. This gets the crown. The new president, I'm voting for him. Here he is, Dr. TP Link. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like or subscribe. If you click subscribe, you are automatically joining the Gadget God Squad. And if you didn't know already, I'm the Gadget God. I do the research so that no one else has to. But you would have to watch my video reviews to get the info, I guess. And I'd like to give a special thank you to one of my first subscribers, Dr. Fishington, the Gadget Guppy. Yeah, I know he's not a guppy, but he's a boss. And so are you now that you have the best router. Thanks for watching, everybody. And have an awesome, lightning fast internet speed, 4K streaming, online gaming, big file downloading, party lifestyle when it comes to the internet. Because everyone's going to want to come to your house. Awesome rest of your day. Gadget Guppy and the Gadget God. Till next time. Stay lightning fast. It's like a monster attacking you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Seriously.